Already been sprayed down. Just coming back and getting the stuff that I can't, you know, get quickly and good, really. These can call the smell in your house, but you know, helpful because the food get caught in there, and I and I literally takes no time to do it. You just gotta go in all directions. When I tell you that food to be stuck in there. And I like this because it don't hurt your hand if it hits your hand. But then again, I wish it could be a little stronger. So just making sure you take away, take apart the whole kitchen is important. Down here in the drain. I push a little bit hard on the tool. around the top of the, oh, you can't see, but around the head of the sink. And then I come back with my sponge, do a last wipe down, everything done set. So while it's sitting in the kitchen, I go in the bathroom and I spray everything in the bathroom because I want to give it enough time, not just to have the house clean, but really have it disinfected. That's my main thing, like, you can just not coming home to a clean house with your the germs are actually gone. So now I'm just gonna take all the soap off and all the disinfected off that sat on there after I don't wipe you know, wipe everything off clean because it is a kitchen and I don't want disinfected to be cross contaminated with food. So I'm gonna give it a good wipe down now and then I'll come back and do all my shining and all that stuff. But right now it's just really just cleaning and disinfecting. Moving everything in the kitchen. The kitchen needs so much time as well as the bathroom. And moving and stuff all that with us, but as far as this affecting. And when your rag start to look a little dingy, get it out of there. It's just holding germs. It's just holding bacteria. And you're defeating the purpose of cleaning if you're going back over it with a rag with germs. 